Right, it's the first test. I've got the uh, the belt on the uh, small pulley coming from the motor, so that'd be the 33 RPM setting normally. It has got a neon in the on and off switch, but it's not a problem because the uh, the BFD, the variable frequency drive, uh, powers it once the uh, hertz gets up. It doesn't make any difference to the operation anyway. It just doesn't come on at very low frequencies like this. This this is um, about 17 hertz, and you can see how slowly the um, the sub platter there is turning. Now, if I increase the frequency, you can see what happens. Gradually increasing now. Got really good um, control over the speed. You can see the speed's picking up now. Until we're belting along. Now, the thing with these motors is your mileage tends to vary a bit with them because some will operate at higher frequencies than others. This one seems quite good, and it's probably still operating, I'd say, at about 80 hertz there, maybe more, so we're really spinning there, so, but once you go sort of beyond the limits of the motor, it stops spinning, and you'll just hear a noise come out of it, you can hear the frequency there, you can see the neon even switching off in the, uh, the on off switch when the frequency gets too high it doesn't damage the motor it just won't spin at the uh, those very high frequencies well not very high but high frequencies for this type of motor so with this uh, motor I'd say we could have um, a speed range from 78 rpm down to 16 rpm no problem at all because it looks like we're even getting about that on the uh, the smaller pulley, if we put it on the larger pulley, the 45 RPM pulley, should give us even more speed um, per frequency. We've got basically any speed we want with this turntable now. <laughs> 